So, as you might have known, I was a little bit hungry, so I just stopped in this small restaurant. It's really quiet. Like, there's nearly nobody here. But they have a pretty decent, nice looking daily menu. So you have like a soup. It's kind of like a potato mushroom cream soup. So in the main course, it's called Svitskova, which is also served in the Czech Republic. I thought it was always Czech, but probably it's Czechoslovakian. Maybe. <laughs> but um, it's something very unique if you've never been in Czech Republic or well, in, uh, now in Slovakia. It's basically meat with dumplings. They love their dumplings here with a lot of sauce. Um, so yeah, it's, it's very unique. And uh, definitely dumplings are like something that they eat quite often here. The same as the soup that you get as a starter. They love their soups. Czech and Slovak people really love soups. And it's probably more Eastern you go in Europe, the more they love their soups or salads. Like, it's great though, really it is. It's actually really cool, these little small streets here in the middle of the city center. Oh, there's actually a dance club. Hmm. Probably not for kids. <laughs> so to walk to the castle, unfortunately I have to go climb uphill. And it's not really like, uh, how do you say this? You know, something nice. It's not a spectacular road up. So basically, yeah. Maybe I take a wrong road though. Maybe I take a different turn. Then normally I just use Google Maps. <laughs> to uh, identify kind of what the road up is but uh, yeah let's hope we can find some sort of like gardens coming up as well that would actually be really nice for now fortunately well it doesn't really look steep on camera it's not that steep but it's still uphill oh yeah <laughs> I guess uh, this one is the proper way up. So it's just a very small part. So up this hill, and all the way up, as you can see, it's actually the uh, castle, the Bratislava castle. Now this castle itself was a uh, built many 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 years ago it actually dates back from the 9th century however it only got finished in the 18th century so it's a very very long time besides that as well one of the things is that uh what you see now is actually not how it used to look like because around late 1800s nothing had been done about it and just fell, it basically fell in ruin and then in the mid 50s actually of 1950s they started to rebuild it again and that is what you actually see today so there is still uh, some old stuff like probably the foundation some of the walls but most of it it's all new and let us see if we can actually go inside or maybe even inside the castle itself definitely on the square we can go but uh, the side itself like inside no one here we, uh, by the looks of it, also entered in the middle of a tour of a, a much older crowd. <laughs> I always think it's funny when you see like a lot of older people, you know, traveling in like a huge group and uh, with a tour guide, so they probably get a lot more information than I do. And uh, at least, you know, it's good to see that no matter how old you are, you still travel. Because that's super important if it's alone or in a group. You know, it's a good thing to do. Because uh, as long as we can travel in the world, we should definitely do it. Everybody should. And look at this. Look at this view. So, that's why you climb all the way up. So, and I don't know if you guys can see it, but up there... On top of the bridge is a UFO kind of shaped building and that's correct because it should be looking like one and it's actually an uh, observation deck where you can go you can have some food there as well some drinks and then look over the entire city which you know depending on the time we I might actually go there so we'll see 
but as you can see that's where normally the most people probably live because you see those old um, large apartment buildings those were of course very popular during the 60s 70s and 80s when also Slovakia was part of the USSR so a lot of those buildings the apartment buildings have been built during that time and of course they have been retouched so it looks a little bit prettier now but still they do function and a lot of people live in those those apartments and also in front of the castle they have the statue of an old king was Svato Pluk who was a great king of Moravia back in uh, the late 800s and actually people don't imagine that but Moravia definitely when he was king was a lot bigger than just a little piece of Czech Republic and a little piece of Austria and a little piece of Slovakia because his reign actually was even further into like whole Poland whole Czech Republic whole Slovakia and I think there's even more that his uh, his whole kingdom was so you know they made a statue of him it's right here with a very nice view let's walk around it into the bright sun it's actually a quite nice statue and there was something I read about um, I don't know the whole story about it but there was some sort of like a controversy about the statue what it is no idea but uh, I heard this a lot of people are not really happy with it uh, maybe because I don't know the whole history so that could be the issue but uh, you know history is history and even though uh, a lot of people might not like it whatever happened in history um, we should not be letting it forget and a lot of people try to remove statues or try to remove certain names from history books because they think think it's offensive and I think that you know it's part of history and that is what makes us today so you should definitely not forget it it doesn't mean that you have to you know be extremely proud of it but it's part of your history so if this is the case that there's something happened in those years that he was a uh, king that was uh, terrible well you know a lot of people do terrible things and even today they still do so you know but we should never forget it at least in my opinion that doesn't mean that in every situation I think it's like this I mean we also had the de-Stalinization uh, of all the Stalin monuments in Russia as well you know I get it because he basically murdered millions of people with famine or, or during the war or other things um, but, you know it's it's not nothing to that we really should forget about All right, that was enough of the deep conversation. Let's uh, continue. <laughs> I guess we found the garden. I was actually uh, trying to get into the building, but uh, there was absolutely nothing. So you would just uh, basically go through the main doors and then there was nothing. Literally, uh, so I don't know, maybe it's not a museum or anything. Maybe there's still things going on here. I have no idea. So I'm just gonna walk around a little bit in this uh, garden because it looks really nice. By the sound of it, somebody's still working there. Yeah. So I don't know what it is, but um, I just can't wrap my head around it. Because if you look at all this, you know, it does look really nice. But I have the feeling it's just missing something. You know, it's extremely quiet. Um, some people might prefer that, but it this castle castle bratislava is seen as one of the you know major touristic attractions to bratislava and now i'm walking here i'm like yeah you know it's nice but there's no big museum in there at least as far as i could see or far as far as i can tell it's too quiet um yeah sure the garden is quite nice right but it's nothing out of the ordinary you know not what it should be or what it is hyped to be and maybe it's just me maybe i'm just um i don't know you know maybe i've seen too many of those castles or uh, castle gardens in other places that are more majestic than anything else definitely compared to this one so again that doesn't mean it's not nice but you know you would expect a little bit more out of it 
a look at this. This is the view from the other side actually and then you see the newer parts of uh, Bratislava definitely with those high-rise buildings. So that's the new part and of course you have there the St. Martin's Cathedral as well which uh, we'll definitely go to. Um, yeah it, it has a different different view to it and you know on the other side you had all these old um, Soviet apartments. Yeah, I call them Soviet apartments. Sorry if I offend anybody by it, but you know because they were built in Soviet era. And then on this side you just have more like the little piece of the old town, like the the lower buildings, and then also the yeah, it's kind of the new skyscrapers. Of course, you know bigger cities need to expand, and most of the time they expand in going up instead of just uh, spreading out which is uh, a lot easier to do to maintain the, the city dimensions and areas anyway I'm still looking for a way out of these gardens I don't know how I get down here but uh, I'll find a way so what's this looks like a very dramatic statue this is a beautiful statue that's for sure you know I'm a sucker for uh, for statues because the more lively they look like and the more um, heroic poses they have the more I like them so <laughs> That's why I like uh, probably uh, the Roman statues and the Greek statues so much because they're most of the time very over the top and you know yeah I well, guess I found some stairs where do they go? nowhere so basically I'm still in the inner garden and no I will never say that I'm lost but I just did not expect this so uh I still have to find some stairs somewhere and, uh, well I'm still going down you know I mean that's where the castle is so I am going down just have to find the right staircase that will bring me even further down oh well cannot complain much you know could have been worse could have been like a thunderstorm now or a hurricane then you know then I should have been complaining but on the other hand I would probably not be here or I might be you know you need to do something in your free time Right, and look at that I found the official entrance to this castle well, for me it's now um, not really an entrance it's more like the official exit of the castle it looks old it looks a lot older than the castle itself and it probably is yeah it definitely is when you look at those walls All right, let's turn around. Yeah, definitely. It's kind of sad that this is, to me at least, what I've seen so far. It's the only old, really old looking part about this castle. Sure, besides these uh, walls that they have. But well, you know, not everything survives. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video and I'm actually closing now in a different way than I normally do. I actually want to thank you guys for watching all the videos and liking the videos and of course commenting on the videos as well. Because sometimes I of course don't have enough knowledge or don't know anything about a city or anything like that and you guys are just giving nice comments and just you know uh, filling me in on, on any kind of new details. So I really want to tell you guys that I really do appreciate it. Um, also, the goal of these videos is a little bit different than most people. Um, if you are having a tough day or struggling or whatever, just remember that you guys are really great. And even if my videos can just, you know, put a smile on your face, even just for a second or 10 or maybe the entire video, then, you know, my goal has already been reached. So again, thank you guys so much and hopefully uh, see you guys in more and more videos in, in the coming future.
So again, thanks.